Did I camp? I would like to know when you camped them all. I, I didn't camp them all. And you know it? I, I, well, I clearly don't because I'm asking you. I might have moved to kick the gen on the dock, then came back to kick the gen before and someone farmed in my face. I don't recall camping the Meg that DC'd on Hook. I don't recall camping the Ada who DC'd on the floor. I didn't camp Vittorio until I saw you. Um, if you were the Meg anyway. You are. What's wrong with this game? Why so many people are quitting? I didn't camp. You just played shit. So many, people quit. so many people are quitting the game because the meta at the moment is really stale and really shit. Also, not to mention, DVD is six years old. We get a patch every one and a half months. That's actually fairly decent. And that one patch is barely relevant to what's actually happening in the game. In the new PTB, we don't even have Eruption nerfs, we don't even have a Dead Hard nerf. They, those two perks have basically a 40% pick rate. I am not what's killing the game. I play smart, but you guys, as Survivor in that team, were all playing dumb. The Ada didn't drop a single pallet. You know what's wrong? Okay. Shall we go back in the VOD and we'll watch the whole entire game because I'm that petty and I want to? Good idea. We'll, we'll see where I'm camping here. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you liked that little clip that I uh, showcased at the start. That was some comments someone had when coming into the chat about a previous game I had just played against them. And that will be the first bit of gameplay that I showcased where I got called a camper. The survivors were DCing. Everything was going badly for them. And um, I was being called a camper and I knew I was camping, which I honestly didn't. And I'm not 100% sure if it was just my uh, pers perspective or what it was. But these survivors thought I was camping, so please leave a comment if you think they're correct or whether I'm wrong in this situation. But I will show the gameplay where there is a couple of DCs, and in the second game, it we were completely losing the match, and due to survivors' mistakes, we were able to mistakes we were able to completely bring it back, and I will uh, break that apart during the gameplay. So the build we're using for both of these videos, we are using Freddy, of course, or the Nightmare. We're using Sloppy Butcher. Uh, this is the build I'm kind of messing around with today, or have been. Uh, sloppy Butcher, this allows us to slow down the healing of survivors and keep them injured for the longest time possible. As well as if we interrupt a heal, their heal bar will regress by 25% and then it will go down even more um, as time goes on. I think it's about 8 seconds to reach the final point and their healing bar completely regresses from 99. Uh, this just slows the game down just a tad. Um, it's very good and very good on applying pressure to survivors. Pop goes the weasel, because we're playing Freddy, we can teleport to any gens and get this um, used straight after we hook a survivor. Kicking that gen will lose 20% of its progress and it has a 45 second um, active rate before it goes, um, before it disables. Sorry, I'm messing up a little. Uh, overcharge, upon kicking the generator, the next survivor that interacts with that generator will face a difficult skill check. If they miss it, they receive a 5% extra loss of progression. I believe it's 10% by default, so it's a 15% regression. And then if um, the skill check succeeded, the progress will be fine. After overcharge is applied to a generator by kicking it, its regression will go from 75% of the normal regression speed up to 200% over the next 30 seconds, and if survivors don't tap that generator, that will go all the way to zero, which combines with Pop Goes the Weasel, allowing us to take off 20%, plus give a really hard skill check if anyone wants to try and, try and chat, uh, tap the generator, and then allow us to gain that additional um, progress loss if they miss that skill check as well. And then we have plaything. This is a really weird one on Freddy that I've been testing out, but my theory is when you put someone on the hook, they become, um, they wake up because they've been placed on the hook and it makes our power not necessarily great. This allows us to get that aspect of surprise on people, um, especially when they're oblivious from us putting them on the hook. It allows us to get the aspect of surprise and we're, or the element of surprise, and we're able to go and get a sneak up hit, then put them back in the dream world from hitting them once, apply sloppy butcher, and then from there we're able to um, 
and just keep punishing them over and over and over until they want to get rid of the playthings. And you will see that this comes pretty handy in um, some of our matches. But I found it's a really good park on Freddy and I'm definitely going to start using it more. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Might be a bit of a long one here, I'm not too sure. But enjoy the video, leave a comment, like and subscribe because it allows me to get on the YouTube algorithm and allows me to keep making gameplay like this and for more people to join the community as well. Short disclaimer before the video starts, I stream these games from 4 to 10 p.m. BST time on Twitch. If you would like to see more content, come and see me live or just have a talk and get in-depth questions about killer and different play styles and learn how I deal with situations live, even in my bad games and even in my good games that I think are good for YouTube. Come and say hi, come join us. We have a lovely community and we'd love to add you to it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey Rose, okie dokie. Oh, he's too like about himself and stuff. I mean, I get he's kind of like the holder of everything. You know, he's got gold and shit, but come on. That was a bit of a weird one. No, they're on that dock though. Which is good. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here. This person might be new, but they might also be... I've got no clue. Alright, we'll leave her injured, I think, and we'll just kick this gem. Good pop and overcharge. That's an unhook. That's completely fine. His arrogance is crazy, though. It, yeah, he's just... He's over-arrogant, though. Oh no, I'll just get the living shit out of her. What the fuck? Okay, that's more like it. I don't even know what the fuck just happened then. Some random ass shit. Regress that by 20%. We'll go back to this journal over here. We'll regress this a little. She just delayed. That's fine. She deadly in my face. We can hook her again. If she has decisive, fair enough. No decisive? Okay. We have three people injured. They're not resetting. Get you back on this hook, my dear. Please don't deadly in someone's face. I kicked one gen. I came to kick the gen next to her with pop and... Before I knew it, she was unhooking herself. Maggie or Maggie? Oh, my brother likes Maggie. Or Maggie, whatever it is. I don't really know, like, where to go. Eddie got hooked first and they're not healing her. Okay. We get the free hit here. Nice. Yeah, let's get you on hook, my dude. So that's a good thing with uh plaything. You can sneak up on someone even if they're not in the dream world. 
And then you can get the punish from there. No one won't really know it until it's pretty much too late. There's one, there's two, she just DC'd on hook. Yep, it's Ada. She like refuses to take any pallets. What the fuck is this? She's terrified of the blood pools as well. Bye. Oh my god, okay. My only issue with Freddy is his points are very, like, yeah. Not terrified of five minutes in the lobby though. Yeah, clearly. Because DC pens back on. Uh, I, yeah, I don't understand survivors half the time. Like, Freddy. I'm using... No add-ons with him, but then again, his add-ons are pretty shit. But come on, it's a Freddy. He's like the most M1 killer ever. It's not even like I have like the full-fledged, like, you know, eruption, pain res, etc. Oh, no way she actually got balanced, val balanced landing value on Swamp. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for the luck, Jenny. I appreciate that done. Alright, let's find a hook for her. Okay, here she goes. Well, that's a shame. Oh, there we go. A double DC against a Freddy. <laughs> yeah, the only issue with me and Freddy is his deviousness points, they don't seem to work. Like, even Clown gets a little deviousness. Freddy just, it's impossible to get your deviousness up. You can set dream snares for, what, 10 points? And then they get triggered and you might get 100. Like, if we take away 2.5k, I've literally... Yeah, I've actually got about... What? Less than 2.5k? By playing the match out. I get deviousness every time I hit someone. I get deviousness every time someone goes to sleep. Every time a dream snare's triggered. And, yeah. So Ada had, like, a full gem build. But a Sabo toolbox. What? Eh? <laughs> what the fuck would you have a gem build but a Sabo toolbox? That's, um... That's all I do, spam drum snares. You get 25 blood points per each one. But even so, that's like, that's not enough. But like... Basically another full gem build here. Rookie spirit and quick gambit. Nice camping. When did I camp? I would like to know when you camped them all. I, I didn't camp them all. Can you know it? I, I, well, I clearly don't because I'm asking you. I might have moved to kick the gen on the dock, then came back to kick the gen before, and someone farmed in my face. I don't recall camping the Meg that DC'd on hook. I don't recall camping the Ada, who DC'd on the floor. I didn't camp Vittorio until I saw you. 
Um, if you were the Meg, anyway. You are. What's wrong with this game? Why so many people are quitting? I didn't camp. You just played shit. So many people quit. So many people are quitting the game because the meta at the moment is really stale and really shit. Also, not to mention, DVD is six years old. We get a patch every one and a half months. That's actually fairly decent. And that one patch is barely relevant to what's actually happening in the game. In the new PTB, we don't even have Eruption nerfs. We don't even have a Dead Hard nerf. They, those two perks have basically a 40% pick rate. I am not what's killing the game. I play smart, but you guys, as Survivor in that team, were all playing dumb. The Ada didn't drop a single pallet. You know what's wrong? Okay, shall we go back in the VOD and we'll watch the whole entire game because I'm that petty and I want to? Good idea. We'll, we'll see where I'm camping here. We'll... Tried some parade gloves last night and clown was pretty fun. The parade gloves are very fun. Um, I like combining it with VHS, but sometimes it just doesn't go ideally. I'm going to have to dip and do my own thing, but good stream. But hey, I appreciate that, Tony. Thank you for the lurk. I'm a lurk whilst I listen to some music and not things still aren't going great. Oh, well, honestly, once again, like I sent you that message and it still applies. If you need anything, send me a message. I'm usually available pretty much every hour of the day, <laughs> so I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Even if it's just something small, you know, never worry about having to message me if you need it. Hello, David. There we go, nice. Where are you going, boss? In here? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> that would have worked so well. The issue with Freddy, especially when you're, like, getting off of a gen. Wait. Oh, there's a door here. Yeah, I didn't realise. The issue with Freddy, especially when you're getting off a gen, is it's really disorientating. Because you don't know where you're coming from. Ah! Nice. There we go. We got quite a decent pallet out of the way as well. Thanks, bro. Same for you. If you ever need to talk, I'll be completely fine by myself, Collins. But <laughs> thank you for the offer. Oh, wow. They're getting that gen done. I need to hawk and then teleport. Hey, up. Sadako feels kind of similar. Sadako feels similar to Freddy. Yeah. I completely... I can see that. But at least with Sadako, you know you're coming from, like, either side of the TV. With the gen, you have, like, three different directions. And I believe it, like, changes every time or something like that. just all over the place. No, that's a double gem pop. That's not ideal. He's leaving. That's fine. And again, W key. He's going straight for that pallet. Oh wow, he's W keen again. This guy's playing quite smart. Oh, we got the pallet out of the way as well. That's beautiful. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do in this situation though. I think Sadako's better. Sadako's very, um, depending on the playstyle we use on her, she can be very powerful or very weak. Or Molly just depends on the playstyle. Someone on that gen. I'm going to kick this and then teleport back to the gen on the other side. Yeah, someone was on that gen in the first place. Oh shit, it's Zuza. I didn't realise that. I've played against Zuza so many fucking times lately. Ridiculous. Got to be up to about that. That's fine. Drop. Thank you. Get rid of the pallet. 
stinky hit, thank you very much. Oh, I thought she went backwards. That one's kind of messed me up a little. There's nothing here for him to use. Uh, if you don't know who Zuza is, Zuza is the number 11 or 14 artist main in the world. A very, very good artist. A little stinky, but <laughs> yeah. A very good artist. There's not really much you can do with like gem pressure. That one got W keyed a little bit, and he just has all the pressure he needs. They're about to probably greed this gen as well. No, they didn't decide to, but only so much you can really do. Uh, we're going to go for a tunnel here. Decisive. Oh, it's very disgusting. He's a very, very good artist. That's the thing. It, it's not necessarily, like, disgusting because he can do artist very well. They're, like, all here. They're all Sabuin. I mean, it's smart. They're, like, playing for their team. But here, we can hopefully get them to mess up quite a bit. Thought I lost her for a second, though. I don't know where he went. No, oh, he's here. Hmm. I need to capitalize on this person. That's the only thing I really can do. This situation is just capitalize on one person, get the kill, and then see where I can go from there. There's two gens left. And I by no means don't have the pressure to be able to do anything else. We know someone else was here. Get the hit here, and then we'll just go after Jill. We'll get the kill on Jill, and then we'll just go from there. I do apologise for this. I don't want to be like a dickhead of a player, especially to someone that I follow on Twitch. It's just, I can't afford to lose. And especially when the gens are flying as it is, it's more beneficial for me if I just get one person out, secure that kill, and then work off the pressure that they gave me before. Someone's over there. They're on this gen as well. Let's see what we can do. Ideally, I want to go after David here. Pretty old Freddy, not going to like, yeah. Old Freddy has such a better concept. It's just all he needed was like a tweak or two to his kit. That's really all he needed. Just a tweak. Where the fuck? What? Okay. This guy likes his W keys. I need to try and find someone else as well. Lost some Alec. Either David. Yeah, David would be a really good pick if I can find him. Oh, yeah, nice. We get this. That's his dead hard. He's in a really, like, awkward corner as well, which is good. Just getting Vittorio made it very easy for you to turn on me, Tomas. Yeah, he did. But hello, Zuza. Welcome on in. I, yeah, I do apologize. I feel really bad for that. But it, I needed the extra hot pressure, and then Vittorio basically bombed you in my face. He just allowed me to get that tunnel. But you played very well, honestly. The one chase we did had, you went very well on it. It's just unlucky that 
the kind of game had to turn into that situation just for me to be able to get a kill and secure my pressure back. How the fuck are you silent, my dude? But literally just from that one kill that we were able to get on Zuza, we, you know, we're getting our game back, we're getting our pressure back. Now they either go for Vittorio, I can get this gem repressing. There's really nothing I can do. My man was allergic to taking hits, he honestly was. And because of our build, we can kind of just keep the gens regressing. Because we don't really have much gen info. We'll get your off the record out of the way. Maybe not. He W keyed quite a bit as well. That's something I noticed. The Vittorio likes his Ws. Reassurance. Fine with that. Not even worried about... Uh, getting that hook. And if Vittorio doesn't go for that one hook straight away, we can get a teleport for when he does. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Oh, wow, she didn't take that. Very smart. Cheryl shouldn't have any more of her make it left. We've hit her three times, I think. They're healing up, but that's Vittorio dead. We tapped the gen as well. We missed the skill check. That's beautiful. Take all the hits you want, my dude. That was quite a decent dead heart, I'll give you that. Are there any P100 pinheads? Uh, yes, there is. I burst one a couple of times ago. I hit before my hook. Um, I would have wiggled. And then he picked you up, and then it was an insta. Yeah. That's the main issue, like... Fucking hell. Like, this man's pathing is so fucking weird. What's his name? I can't remember his name. I think it's like Lino or Lino. Um, but they are a P100 uh, pinhead. I'm not 100% sure what, if they have like a Twitch or anything like that. Um, Zuza, who's in chat at the moment, is a P100 artist. A very, very fucking good artist player. He's the only person that I've felt major terrified playing against. Um, because they're the only artist that utilize the fact that you can slingshot. Um, I've never really seen any other artist player utilize slingshots before. And Zuza was the one that kind of introduced me to all of that. And kind of made me see artists in a new lot as well. Who's the most prestiged knight right now? Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll probably say it might be Fiend. Um, used to be a clown main. They're a Canadian or American um, streamer. Heartless Fiend. They're a night main. They were a cloud main, but they've been not main for quite some time now. Slingshot. So a slingshot is when you place a crow so far away that the... Well, yeah. Sniper gen instantly hits someone across map. In a nutshell, you place one crow further away. You walk forward enough. So when you hit one person with a crow, they have a two second immunity of being hit by another crow. If you place them at least two seconds away from each other, flight time wise, you can hit them with the one crow and then about a second later you hit them with the other and it will instantly take a health state off of them and you can completely massacre gens, especially if you're using the add-on which allows you to get um, spontaneous pressure from, I think it's severed feet or severed hands or something like that. Um, where the crows spread, you can damage two people at once, uh, if not three. No, I don't think you can hit three, but you can damage two people at once on a gen. That's why Discordance is very powerful on highest. Because if you can set up the slingshot cross map, you can damage um, the two people on the gen. I call that double bird. Yeah, it's mainly known as a uh, slingshot, I believe. 
But literally just because of this one Vittorio and how he played, Zuza got tunneled. They got that Sabo, which left Zuza in a really good position. And whilst I was still in the area, the Vittorio picked Zuza up, which allowed me to get the hit and get that second hook. Once I got that second hook, he then farmed off of the hook and allowed me to get the third hook. And that literally brought me the game. Because of Vittorio's mistakes, the Jill died. And because Jill died, that allowed me to get the 3k. And then David got hatch. It's horrible. And I love how like anti-tunnel, anti-tunnel, anti-tunnel. And the one person without the anti-tunnel is the one who gets farmed off a of hook. And is the one the mistakes happen to. And they don't even have the anti-tunnel perk to be able to, you know, withstand the whole situation. They've got, like, anti-tunnel, dead hard. They've got windows for looping. Um, anti-tunnel, windows for looping. Prove thyself with gens. Iron will. Ah, it was Iron will them. And then anti-tunnel with anti-camp as well, but I wasn't really camping. So they didn't really get that value from that. Um, sprint burst for chase and adrenaline for the extra health stone.